everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy that you joined me today. Today I want to show you how we can create the very easy hairstyle, the pineapple. It is really, really um, so, so easy and it is my go-to. So I must say this has been my lifesaver in this transitioning period. So... This is my go-to hairstyle. Usually when I feel like day two, there's frizz and I am not in the mood to really refresh and there's nothing I can do about it. Then I'm like, let's do a pineapple because my curls are still fine at the bottom, but I have some frizz here. So if you feel like you don't have time or you don't really want to put in the effort, a pineapple hairstyle is really, really amazing to do that. So what you are going to need is a scrunchie, okay? A silk scrunchie. They are nice and stretchy and they have this nice material on it so it doesn't hurt your hair, pull out your hair and it also doesn't leave a kink in your hair. So I have a few different ones. I have this black one as well and then I have this one. I absolutely love this one it's like a scrunchie and then it has like a little bow attached to it so this one is great because the days my hair really looks bad like it is bad this thing covers that because then people are like oh i love the little bow in your hair and they don't even notice the mess that's going on they just see the bow we've been duped, duped. so let me show you how to do that so like I said, we're going to start with our scrunchie. I'm just going to use the black scrunchie for now to show you how I do that. If I'm not mistaken, you can also do it with the invisible bobble, but because it doesn't leave any damage on your hair or leaves kinks. But I do not really prefer using this, but it's much better than just a normal elastic. So... I'm going to try my best not to ruin the curls because this is day one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start gathering the hair and you can decide how high you want your pineapple. So I know it's quite difficult if you have shorter hair. So that will also depend how high your pineapple can go. So I just throw my hair in the back because I have a fringe. So we make sure that is covered and I'm not really raking through it. I am just lightly Reiki, oh, well, lightly taking it back like that. So when we do take out our pineapple, that my curls are still there and I don't have flat hair at the root. So we are going to gather all our hair like that. And then what sometimes helps is I just flip it over and gather the rest, especially at the back. Make sure you get every piece and it's so amazing when I do this because you can really see how my hair is grown out because it's just dark and then I have the cute little blonde pineapple okay so now we can put it over and depending on how thick your hair is you can either do it once or twice but I like to do it twice just to give it that extra secureness and that I feel like it's not going to fall out. Okay, so now this is how it looks. I know it looks a bit crazy, but then that's when you start playing with it and putting it in place. So like I said, this is amazing for day two hair when you have frizz over here at your roots because here you can see my curls just fall on top of that, so it really covers a lot. So once you've done that and you've played with it, you have the most beautiful, like, pineapple. So also what you can do just to soften it up a bit is you can take some hair out from the sides. And sometimes if I don't want it to look exactly so done and perfect, 
I start pulling here in the front where all my baby's hair, hairs are and I just bring it to the front like that and that is my pineapple hairstyle okay I love when you wear this with beautiful earrings because I feel like it just does it for me like you can see over here so and I feel like this could actually be a nice formal um, look to go out with so and <sighs> It's literally five minutes. So the first time I did this hairstyle, I was so amazed. I usually take so long with my hair. So for day two hair, especially if it is not working, this is just amazing. And I promise you, it looks this great. It's, um, I'm not even kidding. You can totally rock this look. If you slipped with your curls the right way, check out my video. You can definitely rock this and it looks so so beautiful especially like i said if you wear it with nice earrings and make a little statement okay so now i'm going to show you guys and this is my go-to if my hair is really frizzy and it's not it's just not going well okay i use this like i said and i would do it exactly like this i would make my normal pineapple and then i'll put the scrunchie over it I do not like to use this one on its own because I feel like when I t twist it twice the ribbon just disappears and I'm left with this. I want a nice ribbon to make the statement. So my hair is already in the pineapple then I just take it like this and put my bow over it. So if you have a fringe like me, you can just use a bobby pin. I do not like bobby pins. I feel like they're just not for me. I don't know who they made it for, but it was not for me. I just don't get bobby pins. They don't really work well for me. So what I like to do is I take the curl and I hook it underneath another curl that is nicely secured. So here you can see my bow is in and it is half covered and it's half sticking out. And I absolutely love it. So now there's not much need for the earrings, but the bow makes the statement. And like I said, if my curls have a bit of frizz or my roots have extreme frizz, this bow distracts people on another level. <laughs> Always when people see me with this bow, they're like, wow, your hair looks so pretty. So they don't really notice anything because they just look at this cute little thing bamboozled we've been speckled off. that's not even a word and i agree with you so i found this at diskim so it's really really amazing and there's different types of colors so i would definitely try it out so that's basically a pineapple it's quite easy and simple and it's really really an amazing hairstyle especially when you're transitioning and doing all of that things so if your hair is a bit shorter you can always pin the back up um, like I said I don't really like doing that I just if a curl falls out let's pull this one it is in but let's pull it out I would literally take it up feel where my scrunchie is and just make sure I tuck it in there we go it's gone Okay, so it works really, really amazing like that. Or like I said, I'll hook it on another curl that is secure in. So I make sure everything is nice and up. But sometimes it's even nice, like you see, to have these shorter curls also. Just to make it a little more of a relaxed look. So that was my very easy take on the pineapple hairstyle. I really hope you enjoy it and I hope you try it out for yourself. If you have done so, leave a comment and let me know what you thought and how it worked for you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up for more curly hair videos.